everybody welcome back to the channel this is man united central guys Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been talking he was talking everything about his time at manchester united so what did he say he was talking about his um he mentioned something about ronaldo his regret on signing ronaldo missed transfers the talking about the first thing was like look he regrets over signing cristiano ronaldo right so basically he's saying look uh, there were huge challenges when they brought in Cristiano Ronaldo because the squad had to, they had the challenges integrating Cristiano Ronaldo into the Manchester United squad. He mentioned how Ronaldo's presence required adjustments from other players, which affected the team's overall play, right? Because Ronaldo, when he came on board, he had required certain minutes, uh, certain game time, and when, you know, Ole tried to, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, bench him or something like that, it created a huge issue. So it kind of, that kind of messed up the flow of the team. But he does back himself and saying like, look, other signings of Varane and Sancho, those were definitely good signings because it was part of the plan. But Ronaldo was not really part of the plan. It was kind of, uh, a, you know, the spur of the moment thing that when the situation came up that they, we could get uh, Ronaldo, they had to jump on it. And then they brought him on board, but it was not the right move. Also talks about missed transfers, guys. He said, like, look, uh, he tried to sign uh, talents like Declan Rice, Jude Bellingham, and Erling Haaland, but Manchester United failed to acquire them. Apparently, the club already had enough reports on Berlin Haaland before moving to Borussia Dortmund. And then they decided not to pursue him further, which to me, this was a huge mistake, right? And in Jude Bellingham's case, Solskjaer suggests Sir Alex Ferguson wasn't allowed to be involved in the transfer negotiation. Another huge mistake, which might have played a role in Manchester United missing out on Jude Bellingham. Imagine that if we had Jude Bellingham at Manchester United right now, right? And Soske believes that signing these players could have significantly improved the team. Imagine during that time, you bring in Jude Bellingham, you bring in Erling Haaland, come on, Declan Rice, what? So basically, he's saying that, look, he wasn't really bad. And we're seeing that right now with Ten Hag, you know, some of the players maybe that he wanted, the Manchester United cannot deliver. And that has caught, created a huge issue for the, the the managers right so he Tosca says look i know exactly what ten hag is going through right now with that uh, structure that he has at Manchester united uh he also continues saying look there are also recruitment issues here basically he's saying that um the problem with manchester united transfer structure uh that uh, ole pointed out is that he's saying that look the club has a history of not fully backing managers in the transfer market. According to Soskia, he mentions giving the club the green light to sign Erling Haaland, but then reportedly rejected him due to the concerns about his suitability. So basically, the club said, you know, he doesn't really fit uh, with, our, with our philosophy or whatever we're trying to do right now at the club, which is pretty ridiculous because we didn't have one, right? He also says that, look, the lack of support is something other managers like Mourinho and Van Hal have also experienced at Manchester United. Additionally, leaks coming from the club about players and the manager can create a negative atmosphere and um, hinder the manager's ability to do his job. Solskjaer also mentions there are underperforming players who aren't held accountable which further affects team morale which is very true the player power situation at Manchester united is on and alive players underperform they're still there i'm hoping that Ineos, so jim they can address this because there have been talks that you know we're gonna ten hag may be sacked now again if we sack ten hag and then the players are still there then we we is the definition of insanity right we're doing the same thing all over and over again expecting different results sacking managers instead of sacking the players who are not performing that is insanity right there 
last but not least, he talks about captaincy concerns, right? He's saying that um, he, Solskjaer reveals that uh, captaining Manchester United was not a role many players were eager to take on. He expresses his disappointment that a couple of players declined the captaincy, right? Um, he didn't want to mention those players, but basically saying some of the players, they, they didn't want to come to his face and say, hey, boss, hey, gaffer, I don't want to be a captain. My reasonings are here, 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 here. They didn't do that. They would tell, like, they'll go and have their agents or some other people go and tell the manager. He backed Harry Maguire being a, a tremendous leader. Also, he says that um, Bruno Fernandes also had leadership uh, abilities uh, like a captain, and he was very vocal. But he also remembers telling Bruno, like, look, you are too emotional, right? Whenever he, anything happens on the field, he's always like, you know, doing all this, you know, moves like, you know, you know how Bruno is. Uh, so he remember telling him that you, you're too emotional. You need to calm yourself down, especially if you're going to be a leader of this team. So, guys, um, those are the main, some of the points that I, I noticed and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and hit the follow. That way you do not miss any new videos coming to this channel. Thank you so much. Peace out.